Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, no challenges for the Colt. Is that a fact in the Alexander Hamilton Memorial at Jamaica's Caymanus Park, where jockey Radish Roman enjoyed a dream eight-win weekend? And the Colt ability, bred by reggae superstar Coco T, got his first win since his upset Derby Tramp last year. In TNT, two-time champion stakes winner Super Bird advertises his love for the turf in winning Saturday's Santa Rosa Park feature. And stakes wins for Jamaicans at Maryland's Laurel Park through jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage and trainer Charlton Baker. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. We're in Jamaica for opening story. Six entries for Saturday's feature Alexander Hamilton Memorial run in honor of Hall of Fame racehorse owner and breeder and the man who donated the property Caymanus Park was built on in 1959. Champion trainer Jason Costa and leading trainer Gary Sabrati, each with two starters here. And it's Robert Halladine's mount, Carlton Watson's Is That A Fact from the Costa's Barn, the big favorite. There's the field. Is that a fact? A 1-9 to nine choice looking to continue the recent trend of big favorites winning this one-mile run. The last four Alex Hamilton winners, huge favorites, Superluminal, Crimson, Calculus, and I've Got Magic. Sobrati's sister in treasure in the one box, the second favorite. Let's get Bran Rickman's race call now. So they slip past the half mile and run past the 716th and the favorite is that a fact now shoots through and gets that lead taking control. Sister and Treasure going in chase. Luxol on the fade. There's I realize needing to find five or six to get to the leading group. Just in behind them, that is Rani Bangala and Big Big Daddy firmly planted at the back. They're turning for home in the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Trophy at the top of the lane. Is that a fact? Skittering along. Halliday now pulls out the stick in the left hand. Is that a fact? With a clear advantage on the run toward the furlong pole. Sistrin Treasure in hot pursuit but needs to find six or more. Is that a fact? Coasting in. A 16th remaining in the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Trophy. Is that a fact? It's a fact that is that a fact can't be caught. Easing down in the end and will win by maybe eight. Is that a fact? Coasting here for the win, the 35-year-old top jock Robert Halladine, first time aboard the Colt. Halladine on a double for the afternoon. The U.S. bred Is That a Fact, boasting now a 50% win record with six wins in 12 lifetime starts for champion owner Carlton Watson and champion trainer Jason Acosta. The victory margin, 10 lengths for the 1-9 to nine favorite and the Alex Hamilton, the 7-2 bet sister in treasure second. 1 minute 39 and 1 fifth, the winning time for a mile. Also Saturday, the restricted stakes third race over seven furlongs, Patrick Lynch's four-year-old colt, Ability, winless in three starts since his upset victory in the derby last August, a one-to-nine favorite here to score, slowest out of the starting gates, he recovered steadily, and under apprentice Romario Spencer in the green silks, was taking control coming off the final bend. As they come flashing past the 516th, about to come into the lane. Ability on the outside now quickening up. Jolie Thick will try to fight back on the Radish Roman looking for his second, but Ability looks to have a lot of ability and now begins to show it and begins to pour it on. Ability was the derby winner and the runner up in the Mute Mile, and he's sure showing it now. Ability holding them off. Jolie Thick continues to battle to hold second. Norblar is down against the rail toward the outside, asked to make some late progress. That's Grecian Light, but Ability is out in front. Here is Geolithic and Norblar now trying to run Ability down but Ability is too strong. Ability wins it in the end by over two. Third in the mid-October Gold Cup. Second in December's Mute Mile. Ability by Lion Tamer out of the 2018 Phyllis Guinness winner Disability Charm. Much the best here despite the win by just one length. The last to first victory executed by apprentice rider Romario Spencer. Owned and trained by Patrick Lynch and bred by Calvin Scott more recognizably known as reggae superstar Coco T. Ability as the 1-9 to nine favorite beats 4-1 to one second favorite Norblar, clocking 129 even for 7 furlongs. And can't leave Caymanus Park without highlighting Radish Roman's riding returns. Eight weekend wins for the informed 25-year-old jock they call Sneaky Fox. Six of those on Sunday's card as he delivered the first six-timer at Caymanus Park in more than 10 years. Since Dane Nelson in mid-November 2013, Roman's wins included both sections of the James B. Doe's Memorial feature, here with a 4-5 to five favorite sensational move in Division 1 by 12 lengths. Then in the James Doe's Division 2 with a 9-1 to one bet, a gift from Ben in an upset score by 4 lengths. 
they drive up now inside the final furlong of the piece and it is a gift from Ben who has that lead Milos on the rail God of love outside provocativa looks to have cried enough it's a gift from Ben beginning to sail away from them it's a gift from Ben out in front a gift from Ben a five timer for the sneaky fox Radish Roman Milos is second after this fifth win on the card Roman would make it six in the tenth race for his best day ever in the saddle at Caymanus Park propelling him to take over from Temin Foster as leading rider. To Santa Rosa Park now, where Trinidad and Tobago's 2024 season kicked off on Saturday with a five-race card, headlined by the three-year-old and over fourth race, over five and a half furlongs on turf. Last year's Triple Crown winner in the headlines, the favorite with champion jockey brand Bood Ram Singh, up for champion trainer John O'Brien in a five-horse field. And John Rupert picks up the call mid-race with a favorite off the pace and her stablemate, Super Bird, in front. As they come to the top of the far turn there, and it's Super Bird still the leader. Nicely held by Kelawan. Marvel Vigor ready to pounce. In the headlines, the circling horses. Leonardo Angel is being urged on as they come to the top of the stretch. And Super Bird heads them. Leonardo Angel is finishing on the inside. Then comes Marvel Vigor in the headlines. Princess Aruna again is erupting on the grandstand side. But Super Bird is holding on to that lead. Super Bird is not going to let anybody by. From the one box, the six-year-old Super Bird does it gate to wire under jockey Dylan Kelowan, accentuating his comfort on turf. Won the turf champagne stakes back-to-back -back years, 2022 and 2023, and lands his season opener here for his fifth win on the grass. Hugh Leung Poi's Super Bird by a length and a quarter over stablemate Princess Aruna in a John O'Brien 1-2 finish, clocking 103.97 for the modified benchmark feature over five and a half furlongs, the favorite in the headlines fourth. And a wet track at Laurel Park in Maryland was the scene of a pair of added money wins for two Jamaicans, jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage and trainer Charlton Baker. Saturday's $100,000 spectacular bid stake saw Mirage in the green and white silks piloting the favorite Guanare to victory for trainer Richard Dutro. The furlong left to go. Guanare's in front. Guanare toward the middle. On the inside is Sweet Sadie J. It's going to be Guanare prevailing through the stretch. Guanare to win by two, two and a half. Guanare and Romero Mirage. The 1-5 to five favorite Guanari wins the spectacular bid, giving the 22-year-old Mirage his sixth stakes win in the USA. The victory margin, two and three quarter lengths, clocking 125.1647 furlongs. Trainer Charlton Baker's win on Sunday, a lot more dramatic from a long way off the pace. Jockey Angel Cruz steering the 6-1 to bet Malibu Moonshine from off the rail for a clearer path on the outside, and it proved decisive. One furlong left to go. Royal Whisper suddenly under a battle. Here's Bella Bettina. Here's Northern Glow between horses. And here's I'm getting there with a rail run four across the track. Make it five as Malibu Moonshine charges on the far outside. Malibu Moonshine on the far outside. Jamaican trainer Charlton Baker opens his stakes winning account for 2024. Malibu Moonshine, Maryland's champion juvenile filly in 2022, scores by a neck in the $75,000 Geisha stakes, clocking 140.08 for the one-mile trip. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean men in the USA. Before we go, I've counted in the past week since our last show, 15 victories. Among them, the Barbadian Safi Joseph Jr., leading and champion trainer at Florida's Gulfstream Park, where he had five victories, including a Saturday double. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.